Now let's look at graphing a logarithmic function. Graph y equals log base 3 of x by rewriting the equation in exponential form. Use a table of coordinates and select negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 for y. So again, we begin with our logarithmic equation with a base 3. We read it y equals log base 3 of x. That helps us to change to the exponential form because we say base 3. The 3 becomes the base in our exponential format. Now a logarithm equals an exponent, so our exponent is going to equal y. And so we come up with an exponential format of 3 to the y power equals x. In coming up with our table of coordinates, we're going to this time select values for y and find corresponding values for x. So our y value would be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. We now are going to substitute into our equation. We have 3 to the negative 2 power, which is equivalent to 1 over 3 squared, or 1 ninth. We have 3 to the negative 1 power, which would be 1 over 3 to the first power, giving us 1 third. 3 to the 0 power is going to equal 1. 3 to the first power is 3, and 3 squared is 9. Now we're going to sketch this graph. Now you'll notice that our x values really had a pretty rapid increase, but our y values were just going up by one unit. So I'm going to label 1, 2, and then we have negative 1, negative 2. On the x-axis, I'm going to label 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 will be out here. So let's plot our points. We have an x value of 1 9th corresponding to a y value of negative 2. Now, an x value of 1 9th would be just barely to the right of the y-axis, and then we're going to move down to negative 2 units below the x-axis, and we're going to plot our point. 1 3rd, negative 1, would be third of the way over, and then down to negative 1. The point 1 comma 0 is on the x-axis. We have the point 3 comma 1, which would be 3 units to the right and 1 unit up. And the point 9 comma 2 would be 9 units to the right and then 2 units up. And what we note as we connect our dots, going from the x-intercept first, is we have a, raw, a steady increase, although it's not going to be going up rapidly. But then as we head toward the left from that x-intercept, we're going to be heading down, getting very close to the y-axis, never actually hitting it. And there's the graph of the logarithmic function.